Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Uncut Gems. Now this is a film that stars Adam Sandler and he is getting rave reviews for his performance as a jewel dealer uh, in New York. He uh, has discovered or acquired a, a, a rough rock that contains gems. He think this, thinks this is going to be his you know, his way to make you know, a huge amount of money. But he is a compulsive gambler and he is constantly making bad decisions. This movie was, in my memory, having watched it, was just two hours or more of Adam Sandler screaming his head off. You know, he was screaming about this with his family, he was screaming about that with his mistress, he was screaming about this with uh, people he owed money to. He's, he, he's trying to sell this rock of gems to, uh, let me make sure I get his name right, Kevin Garnett. He's a tall, tall, tall basketball player, actual basketball player, but he has a role in the movie. And, you know, he is just obsessed with this rock that has these gems supposedly encased inside it and he feels like it brings him good luck. And there's just all this back and forth of whether he's gonna buy it from Adam Sandler's character. He's not, whatever. Adam Sandler is trying to get the best money to, so he can pay off his brother-in-law who's sent some thugs out to, to harass him and, and strong arm him because he wants his money. And one situation adds to another situation, one complication adds to another complication. And the whole movie, to me, was just chaos. It was, like I said, it was just screaming from this person, screaming from that person. It drove me crazy. Uh, the uh, Adam Sandler's mistress is played by an actress, uh, Ju Julia Fox, and his wife is played by Idina Menzel. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, Idina Menzel of Frozen fame. And she is, she is really good in the role of the wife who has just seen it all, heard it all, and is ready to get out of this relationship. Uh, you know, she, they have children, she's trying to you know, think of what's best for them, but it's all just coming to a head one time after, you know, one time after another. This movie, I will admit Adam Sandler does a good job. I mean, he gets into that character and he's just, you know, spewing profanities right and left and making, making you wonder why this guy just doesn't take a moment, or take a breather, and realize what he is doing to his life. Uh, the film is rated R for constant profanity and violence. There, you know, people are beat up, it's shot, etc. I sat back thought about it and realized I hated just about everything with this movie. I know that people, some people say, oh, one of the best movies of the year. I'm sorry. Not to me. To me, like I said, it was chaos. It was just screaming. Uh, I, I gave it a three out of ten. The three is for Adam Sandler's performance, you know, I recognize the ta that there is talent that goes into creating this character but I wanted to be out of there. I didn't want to think about this character anymore. Uh, you know, once I, once I finish with this review, I am removing it from my brain. I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. But reach down, hit the subscriber button because you can agree or disagree with me. Please let me know what your thoughts are. And, you know, I read everything that you write into the YouTube channel and comments that you make on Twitter, etc. So just let me know. Let me know what, you, what your opinion is. But, you know, become a subscriber because we've got a lot of movie reviews coming up. But for today, oh my gosh, I'm going to blank this out of my head as soon as this is over. The Entertainment Rundown has been a review of the film Uncut Gems.